All right, so this is a, I guess a brief overview of the tractor, Native Instruments Control S2 MK3. Um, this is a very old controller. It's actually been out for a couple years now. The only reason I'm visiting this, revisiting this, is because it looks like somebody figured out how to make it work with the iPad. And so I figured, well, let's try it, let's see what happens. Initially plugging it in, you have to have power. Um, it's hooked up. There's a port on the back for just a USB, and then there's a port that goes to like a laptop. So what I plugged it in, nothing happens. And if you plug it in and turn the power on, I'm using any, uh, there you go, it lights up. <clears throat> now we have the USB power and also going to the iPad. Okay, so the first thing it says on the screen is it's trying to load the Tractor DJ iPad app and it will work. If I can show you, I'm a little slow. Now this is a perfectly usable program, but it doesn't work as well as DJ by algorithm. So I don't even know how to use this really. Yeah, load track. See, I don't like this already. It's slow. It's not coming up. <clears throat> Very fast. Okay, right, there we go. And then you hit load and one, two, three. This is too long. So it's working. I can't get any more volume. Pretty responsive. Okay, so anyway, that's the point. It works natively with Native Instruments stuff, which has always been proprietary and locked to their bullshit, which they make good hardware, but it only works with their shit. So here's the secret in how to do this. And I'm not particularly happy about this, but load the DJ program, nothing works. The secret is unplug your power. Take their battery source, make sure it's on. It could be an AC cord or it could be a battery. And as you're plugging in, hold down the left FX button, watch it, it turns green. Now it's in MIDI mode, which means that it no longer works with the, oh, there it goes. No longer works with their software, it's working with any software. But you have to do that every single time, which means every time you reboot or whatever, you have to hold down the button, plug it in, and then it'll work with external. So overall, it's not a bad controller. I mean, if the money you're spending on the S2 MK3, you might as well just go buy a Pioneer. I think it's a DDJ400 or a DDJ200 or whatever it is. And it just works. And you set the mode and it remembers it. Uh, personally, I'm gonna continue to use the last one I used, which was the M Audio, which is just a sound card. And I basically turn this mode into turn off the waveforms, and that's it. I don't even need a control, I'm just using this, you know. So, this is going back. Just wanted to show that it is possible to work with you know other software, but the way they implement it sucks. So, uh, otherwise, I think it's a pretty well built controller. I don't think they're gonna change it. They're German, they're very fixed in their way. It's like Mercedes, if you want ugh, quality, it's just gonna be their way. The back of it, so you can see here, this is where the power goes. You can also use an AC cord if you don't have that. 15 volts, it's hard to find, but you can get it. Your iPad plugs in here. Uh, and you notice it doesn't have balance down either, so. I do like that it has a 3.5 millimeter. Looks like here would have been some sort of stand. I don't think they finished it. And uh, really simple looking controller. Now here's this poor quality controller here. You can see it kind of wobbles. This shouldn't be doing this pretty, it's hard to tell. It just kind of wobbles all over the place. It's hard to tell. Anyway, possible, but this could have been probably the best 
iPad based controller out and that's why I tr uh, got it just to see if it would work and it does work but too many tricks and a couple things that other things I don't like are there's no lock on the pitch here it doesn't have a lock here um, let's see and the, the detents in the knobs here are kind of similar it's not very prominent you can't really tell where it is otherwise I mean this is the basic thing you need you don't need any more for a two deck controller I mean it's fine these are rubberized but the travel is too short which means these are gonna wear out this is a hard button and that's it I gotta clean this up and send it on back and there you go guys thanks for watching and hopefully I saved you some money messing around with it, it does work for me